first of all, uh, whether we are uh, yet there to speak about a post-IS uh, uh, Syria or not is an issue of question mark. It seems that IS is regrouping uh, within Syria and Iraq and uh, it is in fact uh, uh, no longer a territorial uh, entity but it is more spread meaning in the past they were only a challenge in these two countries and only in their own uh, sovereignty zones which they declared but now they are in Turkey they are in Jordan they are in regional countries uh, so they are a larger threat by means of uh, ter territory so it is a concern not only for the West but also to, for those countries, for Turkey, including Turkey. Uh, IS can easily turn Turkey into a stepping stone for operations into the heartland of Europe, uh, of Western allies, so that needs to be stopped there and Turkey needs cooperating with Western allies and the West needs Turkey by means of that cooperation. I think it's not about post-IS uh, uh, Syria, it's about the new world. And the new world is a world where terror organizations are able to uh, launch uh, asymmetrical war uh, to governments and international bodies. A second issue may be about the over-involvement of Iran into the issues of Syria. In fact, uh, at least for once, uh, Iranian-controlled uh, soldiers launched an attack on the Turkish army uh, in Syria. And this was the very first, uh, I think, hot clash between Iranian and Turkish soldiers for about 300 years in history. So this is serious. This, is, this may be triggering any war between Sunnis and Shiites, and the United States cannot be aloof to that.